guys, Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Got another uh, heavily requested little solo. Uh, it's been requested for a long time. I finally uh, got around to doing it, so here it comes. Uh, it's weird though, there was a... This is from the past Masters solo. If you listen to the recording I took that solo from, there's actually another guitar solo underneath and some people think of that as the main solo. This one was always my favorite one, so I'm gonna break it down for you, and I think you'll enjoy it. I was using a, a Leslie kind of effect, or also known as like a rotary spinning speaker, but it was just a simulation on my Line 6 M9 pedal, and then just a, a full-tone plimsoll kind of lead guitar overdrive channel. Those are the two things I was using to get that semi-authentic sound there. So just a couple things to think about. I'm gonna teach it to you nice and clean so you can just learn the solo. It's, it's really a classic and it's all from the C major pentatonic scale, uh, which is all the same notes as the A minor pentatonic scale. I have a lot of stuff like that at Guitar Jams. Uh, you can actually sign your info down there and I'll send you uh, some of those scale charts that you would need and some chords, ebooks, stuff like that. Really appreciate it. But anyway, let's get to the lesson. Here we go. All right, so we'll break this down into some phrases. Like I said, it's the C major pentatonic scale, and which is the same as the A minor pentatonic scale. And there's a little run that's pretty much, you know, one of the foundations for soloing, I think. And it's called the extended scale or the extension, pentatonic extension, extended, all that. And it just basically looks like this for C major. <laughs> You're gonna go like this, three, five, three, five, and that would be on the E and the A string. Roots right there. Slide, five, seven, five, seven. Slide up to nine, and then you've got eight, 10, eight, 10. That's the first phrase. Three, three on the A string. Then we're gonna slide up and back between the five and the seven. So you got three, three, B, uh, then to the root again. So, then two times on the A string with that same slide. slide from the five up to the seven so you got five to the seven slide there one more time Then you gotta go five seven on the D string, then a slide from seven to five on the A string to the root, the third fret. You put that all together. next phrase and so I'm going sliding from 5 to 7 on the A and then I'm going to the 5 on the D and then kind of a tiny little ghost note on the 7 of the D and then kind of a little ghosty it's kind of like a climb up 
So we're using this extension thing again and we're going. So I'm sliding from the seven to the nine. And then I've got eight on the B. You use your index or your middle. And then a pull off from the 10. Then a slide back from the nine. to the index on this root, which is a C note on the fifth. Then a pull off from the seven to the five. And then a pull off from the seven to the five on the D. Slide from the seven to the five to the root. So when we put all that stuff together, So that's the next phrase. We're going to slide from five to seven on the A, then go to the root. So it's then we're going to slide from five to the seven on the D, but then just go back to the five on the D. So so then we have to do a bend on the seven of the G, then down. Then five, then seven, then seven on the D. So then we're gonna do a five, seven on the D hammer on. Immediately from a seven to a nine slide, whole step. Then we're going to do an 8 on the B, then a hammer on pull off from the 10 to the 8. So the phrasing's different the second time than that first one. So we go. Uh, from the second half here. All right in that major pentatonic. Let's play everything we've done so far from the top. So I'm doing a 5-7 on the D. Yeah. Ring finger on the 7 slid up a whole step, but then the high E on the 8th fret. Pull off from the 10 to the 8.
kind of ghosting back to that. It's just this little box thing. Tenth fret on the high E. Up a whole step, down. Eight. Okay, everything real slow. Oops, not that slow. So from this high E bend, oh. ten eight nine To that 10 8. We're going to pivot with our ring finger here on the ninth fret, slide down to the 7, and then a uh, helpful to you. Uh, I've always got bonus stuff down there, link down there. Uh, thanks for the support and hopefully I'll see you in another video lesson real soon. See you later.